Good evening. Welcome to Stampin' by Hannah here live on Facebook or replaying on Facebook or possibly YouTube. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are watching and you can see the little live button at the top, um, you are watching me live. Um, if you can't see that little red um, live thingy here, um, you are watching the replay, feel free to comment. I love to hear uh, what you think about my projects um, or if I have inspired you in some way to uh, make your own. Um, I, I normally come to you with my face. <laughs> I'm not doing that this evening because I've had one of those days with the children and I'm absolutely exhausted and I'm already in my comfies so I've gone right not put my makeup on <laughs> you can see me hands and that will do tonight <laughs> one of those days anyway I have got two um, fun card ideas using the sweet strawberry stamp set and the coordinating punch now bit of a disclaimer this punch is currently on back order um, if you live in the UK or Europe. Um, it is due in, I think, to the warehouse next week. But as I, as this goes out live, we ha the Stamped Up haven't got any of um, these in stock. But it doesn't mean you can't order it, it just means that it'll come at a later date. If you do order something that's back-ordered, um, Stamped Up won't charge you any extra postage. It will just it will follow on um, from the order that you've already placed. So don't worry about kind of thinking, oh, I'll order it. I'll order this bit. And I won't order that because it's not in stock. Because if you order them together, at the minute you're going to save 10%. So you want to order them as a pair. Just this one will arrive a little bit later. But anyway, that's enough of my waffling. Good evening, Steph. Lovely to see you. Louise. Hi, Hannah. I love this set. I love making them into pairs. I hadn't thought of that. That's a really good idea. I might do that um, over the weekend. I have got a bit of crafty time planned for the weekend to play with this a little bit more because I haven't... Last week, I managed to get five cards made with um, brush blooms that I used last week and I haven't managed to do it this week because um, things have just been a little bit crazy. <laughs> I've got a couple of weeks left before I go back um, to work and... The kids have been doing settling in sessions at nursery and things, so just the, my life has gone crackers this week. But anyway, that's enough of that. Before we get into crafting, I do want to just remind you as well, this Stamping Up catalogue is about to retire. Um, it retires on Tuesday, I think, Monday or Tuesday next week, um, the 3rd. There is currently a bunch of last chance um products available at discount on the website do pop over and um, once i finish recording the video and doing the live i will pop links up in the video description so they'll either be if you're watching the replay they'll either be up here on facebook or down there on youtube um, for you to pop over and have a look because um, there's fabulous things in this book that aren't going to be in this one this is the new castle i can't show you inside yet which is annoying, um, because it's fabulous. If you want a copy, if you haven't got a demonstrator that you work with and you want a copy of this, do just let me know. Um, there is a form on my um, blog, which I have now repaired, because it did break the other week. Um, so if you have ordered a catalogue and haven't... If you haven't ordered, if you've ordered a catalogue, just make sure that you fill it, you filled in the most recent form. It does look different, so it's worth popping over and checking. Um, and I will pop one into the post for you over the weekend. Um, so you have it for the start of the catalogue on the 4th of May, which I swear has come round really, really quickly. But hey, um, this April has disappeared for me this month. It's just gone. Suddenly my daughter is about to turn two and I am not ready. I'm not ready for it at all. And I thought I had loads of time and I blatantly don't. So, I've <laughs> got two cards. Sweet Strawberry. I've got the Coordinating Strawberry Builder Punch. I've got one of the, um, I want to call them. No, I can't remember what they're called. This punch, anyway. Um, and there's a, and there's a couple that are like this now. Um, so, I've got this punch as well. I will put the links on the blog. Um, the... 
which stamps it, which dies. The stitch so sweetly dies because I can't put these down because I now can't use my stitched shapes. This is my replacement because stitched shapes has retired. Well, it's retiring and has already well sold out. Um, and I've also got the new um, Brights Colour Family De Designer Series Paper Pack. I love the patterns in this. I just think they're really gorgeous. So you've got, obviously you've got sheets for kind of every, every colour in the colour family, um, which, you know, a, a good demonstrator could name, <laughs> but my brain isn't working. Um, and then you've got, so you've got four sheets of each, two of kind of each double-sided design, but they're lovely patterns. Um, and there are... There's one for each colour family. So this is the brights, the neutrals or eagles or subtles, and the in colours. What's the others? Neutrals, brights, regals, subtles, in colours. Yeah. So, Steph. Steph says, I'm well enough advanced this year and I've already made my Christmas cards. Um, you go to one, go to the top of the class. And also, I'm going to hang my head in shame because I haven't even thought about Christmas yet. That's like way in advance of my brain my brain is working up to the 17th of may which is when i go back to work and that's when it stops and because i've been working towards the 17th of may to go back to work i've kind of ignored the fact that that's actually coming up i know the date's kind of around but the fact that it's kind of so close i've just kind of put it to the back of my head because i'm just not ready anyway so i have got a card base of crumb cake um and some mats and layers so card base is crumb cake hello lovely um, a wisp um, oh, i'm gonna keep calling it wisp white aren't i basic white mat that i've actually cut a centimeter shorter and narrower normally i do half a centimeter but i fancied a little bit of a bigger gap i've got a piece of the the um bright designer series paper that is nine centimetres by eight. And I have pre-die cut one of these beautiful labels from that stitched so sweetly. I really like the detail on these. I think it's that stitched edge and the scallop. It's just, they're just really, really pretty. So I've got all of that and I've got a scrap of Whisper White and I'm gonna stamp, she says, this might go horribly wrong because this is one of those stamps where you've got lots of different images. I'm not very good at this, but we can all try. So I've got, I want the strawberry, the leaves on the top, and is it the little flower? Yeah, the little flower so that, for, for now. Um, and I'm going to, the way, this is the way I do it. There are loads of different ways of getting this stamp this kind of this punch, style punch to work but the way I do it is that I will chop this so it's sort of the same size as the strawberry so I've got a strip and punch that through some people will you could also punch it as a blank lay your stamps out into the blank and then you know where they belong and you can chop all four shapes out at once so that's too complicated for my head so First things first is I am going to stamp my strawberry and I want three. Can you see that at all now? Of course not. <laughs> three strawberries. And then I'm going to take my I've chopped, I've got my stamp and trimmer. And I'm just gonna chop that straight down the middle. So I've got two strips. Then I can bring my punch back in and I can line up my strip like that. So there's one strawberry. Now, I love these images for a couple of reasons. One, they're just very pretty, kind of simple, 
line images that I just really like. I like the kind of, they're almost hand-drawn looking. But I love them in, as well in the fact that there are so many different ways you can colour these in. So they would look fabulous coloured with blends. But they'd also look fabulous watercoloured. But also the stamps, the stamp set itself has got um, kind of the solid stamp to colour them in quickly. So that's what we're going to do. We'll do that in a minute. We'll get all of the um, pieces cut first. So I am just going to just chop two more strips of basic white cardstock for my flowers and my leaves. So because I have got three strawberries, I need three of the leaves as well. And then I need I'm going to go for five, if I can, if, if I can fit five of these on here and cut them out. This will be interesting. You can tell that I have not prepped this, can't you? <laughs> Ever the professional. <sighs> Normally I would have made a template card, but nap time did not work today i have got two small children so neve will be two on the 11th of may which has come up so quickly and george is five months and today they just didn't they didn't want to nap at the same time and actually neve decided she didn't really want to nap at all and just messed around for an hour so <laughs> just got George to go to sleep and she decided that she really wasn't in the mood for sleeping at all and got up. I was like, oh. some days is good as a parent of two under two and some days is an absolute disaster. And today has been one of those not so great days. But hey, never mind. <laughs> there's, 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 always, there's always somebody worse, isn't there? So let's just go for all. Oh. Oh, that's, that flower lines up really nicely. One. Two. The sound of this punch is probably going to wake one of them up as well because they've both gone to bed quite nicely this evening, actually. I think because they're both, because neither of them have napped properly all day, they're, um, they're both exhausted. So... Is that this? I think, yeah, this is one of those flowers that's absolutely symmetrical, so you can punch it any way you like. It's not, um, it's not affected by the orientation of your punch. So I'll turn that round. Punch. There we go. So I've got. A mess on my desk now. Um, and I've got three strawberries. Three of the leaves that go at the top of the strawberry. I mean, they're very pretty images. Just stamped in black, aren't they? I just think they're lovely. But then, like I said, the sweet strawberry stamp set has these stamps so you can colour in your images super duper quickly because all you need to do is stamp them. Oh, love this idea a lot. So I pop those all onto my blocks. And I have got, I should have introduced my colours, shouldn't I normally do that? I've got slightly faded ink pads, so I'm going to show you the tops. I've got Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade and Memento Black. And the reason I've got Memento Black is because my second card uses 
um, blends, but also I don't tend to use stays on black with photopolymer just because it um, degrades the stamps themselves, the photopolymer, it's not the, because it's an al alcohol based, solvent based ink pad. Louise is asking what size blocks am I using? So I've got the Stampin' Up blocks in, that's a C block for my strawberry and both the flowers and the leaves are on B and I do have on my desk, I do have some D size blocks just in case, um, but I haven't needed them yet. So, tend to pick these blocks up more than any of the others. I do have some of the little tiny ones that I think are A, um, but sometimes they're just too small and they get lost. I can't find them on my desk, usually because my desk's a mess. Um, <laughs> so a slightly larger block works better for me. Um, but I think sometimes block size is a bit personal preference, isn't it? So we've got Poppy Parade for our strawberries. And see, coloured, just like that. I love this idea. I just think it's brilliant. And it doesn't matter if it's slightly off because it just adds to the effect as well. And they, they're so easy to stamp just fabulous so that is my strawberries done i'm gonna grab my leaves and i'm gonna do these in granny apple green like so that's one two Don't you love it when it's quick? A bit of quick crafting. Sometimes you find that setting everything up takes longer than actually assembling the card. And I, I that's how I like to craft a lot of the time. So like, and you, know, you get all your fiddly faffy bits done and then it all comes all at once. Thanks, Sally. I'm glad I'm making somebody laugh this evening. <laughs> do love a bit of stamping on a Thursday. I miss, I have missed you all terribly, you know, when, because I haven't been able to do these for a little while, thanks to being not particularly well as a pregnant person and then having a very small baby in my house. Um, it just wasn't working. And now that I've got them to go to sleep, <gasps> mostly um i can come back and do these on a thursday again um and my aim is to be a little bit more organized than i am tonight <laughs> most of the time so last thing i need is a sentiment and i'm gonna go for happy birthday you sweet thing i'm gonna stamp this in crumb cake Isn't that just the loveliest font as well? Oh, it's these die cuts. These die cuts make just make me happy. Doesn't take much to keep me happy, to be fair. So I'm gonna adhere my designer series paper on to here with some seal. like that and then i'm just gonna throw all my punched pieces out of the way as well before i attach it onto my card i'm gonna do something that i'm gonna deeply regret <laughs> and i'm gonna add some ribbon <laughs> now if you've been here for a while you've watched me before you will know me and ribbon tying bows on camera doesn't usually work but we will give it a go I would love to be able to talk you through exactly how to do this, um, but for me, it's a bit of a trial and error, guess, pray, um, and hope it works. So, I do have some sort of technique, but like, I, yeah, it's not, it's not a very good one. <laughs> but I do end up with a bow at the end, sometimes. Yay! <laughs> oh dear. It's a bit wonky, isn't it? 
It's a bit wonky and a little bit slack, but that's okay. We can sort that out. The fact that it's a bow at all is a miracle. So I need a bit more of a loop than that. Pulled it too far. Well, because I said that Baby Boy had gone to sleep, he's decided to show me up and he's now woken up. My husband's going to start cursing me for telling everybody that, that George has started to go to sleep. Because every time I've said, George goes, yeah, he's sleeping really well, he then wakes up. I was on a Teams call, um, yeah, Zoom call last night for, um, commu I'm a community centre trustee for the village that I live in. And he, I said, the question was, oh, how's George sleeping? Oh, yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, not so much. So we've got a sort of bow tied, which is... Fabulous. I just want to cut that at an angle. And this, by the way, is the crinkle seam binding ribbon, which is carrying over into the new catalogue, hence why I've used it, um, because it's not retiring. So, there's that. And I wonder if I pop a glue dot underneath, it might stay where I want it to. Of course, I don't have glue dots on this side of my office, so I have to <laughs> leg it from one side of the room to the other. I am going to get my craft room done very, very shortly because this, at the minute, my craft room's just not really working for me very well. It's just, oh no, can you see what I've done? It's not too noticeable, is it? Um, <laughs> my craft room isn't really working for me at the minute. It's just a bit of a mess and become a bit of a dumping ground. I need to sort it out. Sorry, diet code break. Um, so yeah, my plan is, my, well, my hope was to get it done while I was off work, but um, it's not quite going to happen, I don't think. So, let's pop this onto here, like that. If you are enjoying this video, by the way, I know it's, you know, a bit all over the place and quite jumpy this evening. Um, but do do share my vid this video with your with your crafty friends um, or anybody's always welcome. So I'm just going to use some mini dimensionals because it's just what I've got on my desk, to be honest. I'm gonna pop up my sentiment. I quite often will pop my sentiment on first, um, and then put my other die cuts around it. So cover up the fact that my ribbon is a bit wonky and then it's just the case of working out where I'm going to put all my strawberries because I've done three because three works well for your eye um, but I might not actually oh no that works doesn't it so tend to find as well that one of the things I do a lot is I kind of work in threes so because your eye likes a three or an uneven number um so I'll, I'll put sort of three um rhinestones on something or I'll use three die cuts or three images um, and try and form a triangle if you can um, because that's just what your eye will be drawn to. So, now then, let's pop these strawberries leaves on. Whoa. Two... Sorry, everything in my house at the moment is counted. 
because my child is learning to count. So I started to count everything out loud. Every time I do anything, I end up counting it, which is a bad habit, I'm sure. Count it. We started counting our way up the stairs and all sorts. So I'm just going to pop these flowers round and about as well. I've popped two straight down onto my card. And I'm going to pop the other three up on dimensionals just to give just an extra interest really. I like cards with altered heights. Um, what size are the ideas peak? The, um, this piece here is nine centimetres wide by eight centimetres tall um, because my card, the my card base is ten and a half centimetres by 14.8 and the Whisper White piece is, oh, sorry, Whisper White, Basic White is nine and a half by 13.8 um, and so that's nine by eight. I have a page actually on my blog of all my kind of most commonly used card sizes so if you're kind of struggling to work out what what size pieces you need to make decreasing layers um, there is that is over on my blog as a kind of cheat sheet. I'll pop that one there. That, isn't that sweet? Probably should do... Uh, that ribbon might need a little bit more fussing with. But that came together relatively quickly. Once you've got, you know, if you weren't waffling, it would come together quicker. So that is my first card. And then my other card, hopefully, will be even quicker. Now, I saw this technique on Instagram earlier on and thought, I'm going to have a go. So I haven't tried this. <laughs> I've watched one video <laughs> and I'm going to give it a go. So, and I can't even remember who it was that I saw either. It might have been the artisan design team. It might have been stamping up. So I've got a piece of basic white cardstock and I've got two shades of, well, four stamping blends pens. So I've got the Poppy Parade Duo and the Granny Apple Green Duo. I am really enjoying my stamping blends at the moment. Um, I have a piece of designer's so paper that sat on my desk from last week that I'm determined to colour in with them. Um, so that might be another card that happens over the weekend. Um, Louise, do you always cut some of your layers so they're ready to go? I, you know what? I should. <laughs> I should because I really do use exactly the same pieces all the time. But that would require more organisation than I'm currently capable of. And so, no, I just I just cut as I make. Um, but I know a lot of um, a lot of people who do kind of get a pack of basic white and chop it, them down um, to whatever size they're going to use. Um, I'm, yeah, not that organised. So this might be the quickest thing in the world. I'm literally going to scribble. This is light poppy parade. So, and it's going to look a complete mess, I'm sure. And I'm sure I didn't watch all the video. <laughs> so that's that one. And I'm going to do some dark up the top and I'm going to cut off my cardstock as well I'm going to come back in with my light pen to blend the two areas together actually much preferring the and I don't use the brush tip of blends very often um, I tend to use the bullet tip, but actually, I think for this, the brush end is working better. So I'm just going to blend those two together. There we are. I'm going to do exactly the same with my Granny Apple Green. Now, Granny Apple Green and Poppy Parade are not going to blend very well in the middle. 
Um, but that's okay, we're gonna cover that up. So a bit more. We'll sort that out in a minute because I'm gonna do quite possibly my favorite ever card making technique, <laughs> which is make a mess and then cover it with something. So again, just go over with the light color just to blend it out. It doesn't need to be perfect like that. Then I have got my memento. And I might actually need a slightly bigger block. No, I don't, that's okay. So this is block size D. And I have got this stamp, this stamp. I absolutely love this stamp. Um, if you, I will try and remember actually on the blog post, the link a card I made for my father-in-law a couple of months ago, where I just heat embossed this on in Whisper White onto some of the In Good Taste paper, like a wood, a wood effect paper. And it was just so pretty. So, even my father-in-law. It was manly enough that I got away with it. So, I'm going to stamp this down that edge. How cool is that? I just think this, like, super simple technique. So super simple. I'm going to take the, there's a oh, thank you sentiment that I'm going to try and line up straight on my block now. So uh, one of the reasons why I use grid paper is because it's got lines on it. And what I do is I will line up my sentiment on a grid line and then I will line up my block. But I will line, like this edge of my block, I'll line up with another line. So in theory, it will be straight on my on my um block brain is not not working this evening so that is thank you marked up in memento I'll stamp that in the middle of there then i have got this punch that i was talking about earlier on i love these punches um, because you've got different sizes and different shapes so you can create kind of different effects um and different um sorry i'm getting distracted because i can hear this baby crying um yeah so different sort of size strips so this is a one inch strip and you can see you've got that end on it now i'm going to just do that again so that there's, it's a bit closer to me, thank you. Stamped slightly in the wrong place, but that's okay. And then this is three quarters of an inch, so it sits in the groove below where, where that was, um, basic white one was. So it's just, it's exactly the same punch, but you get two different looks. How cool is that? And then obviously you've got the same with a different shape as well. You get loads of loads of use out of two, um, you know, loads of uses out of one punch. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, let's get this put together. So I'm gonna, I've got a card base of Poppy Parade. Like that. And do I want to attempt to tie another bow on camera? <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do. So, let's pop that bit there. Where's my glue gun? So there is my strip of Poppy Parade. And can you see what I'm doing? I'm literally, the mess that we made in the middle, I'm just going to cover it up and it's gone. 
and trim that edge off with my snips. And I'm going to take my ribbon, which I've also now lost. This desk is not big enough. <laughs> there it is. So if you are um, planning to shop the last chance sale, you have got literally over the bank holiday weekend to do that. The, the store will close, or the last chance sale will end, I think, at 11pm on the 3rd of May. Um, and then the new catalogue goes live immediately after that so like one minute past 11 at night um usually there's some downtime but i've got it in my head that there's no downtime this time so if you are up and about at 11 p.m on the 3rd of march march 3rd of, 3rd of may you will be able to shop the new catalogue <gasps> um yes so but if you are going to shop that last chance sale, do check my blog for the um, Code Club code and you'll get some goodies in the post um, from me. Probably the middle of next month by the time I get myself sorted as well. Um, there is always a Code Club code. It is always in the sidebar of my blog if you're on if you're looking at my blog on a desktop if you're looking at my blog on a mobile device i believe it's right at the bottom so I'm gonna pop some seal on the back of there that one there and then we can trim off that bit of seal and that will go on there how quick and simple was that i love that effect i'm going to try that again i think you could do that with loads of different colors so that is two cards using the sweet strawberry stamp set and that coordinating punch like i said the punch is currently as this goes as this video goes live um the punch is currently out of stock, um, but it will be back in next week. And if you do order it over the weekend, it will just come to you at a later date um, when they've got the stock in. So thank you ever so much for joining me here at Stampin' by Hannah tonight. Um, I hope to see you again. Um, do give this page a like and the video a share if you've enjoyed yourself. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.